Okay, 100 grams of water gains 350 joules of heat, then what is the change in its temperature? Now, the information you're given in the stated problem is it takes about 4 joules to raise temperature 1 gram of water by 1 Celsius degree. So, uh, figure this out. Well, okay. We can do this with a formula, but we can do this by simply understanding what the words tell us, what the idea of 4 joules to raise 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius tells us. And that tells us that, uh, uh, okay, if we want to raise 100 grams of water by Celsius degree, that requires 400 joules of heat energy. Okay, because if 1 gram requires 4 joules, 100 grams is going to require 400 joules. That shouldn't require any explanation. We're only adding 350 joules. So that means that we're going to get less than a degree of temperature change. And we could then say delta T is going to be what? 350 four hundredths of a Celsius degree. Okay, and you know, that's going to be what? That's going to be 0.875 Celsius degrees. Okay, now, slightly more involved problem. 50 grams of ice at 0 degrees Celsius added to 250 grams of water at 30 Celsius comes to a final temperature of 12 Celsius. At least that's what you know, our measurements might indicate in an experiment. Okay, now, uh, how do we analyze this? We want to know how much energy it takes, how much heat energy it takes to melt 50 grams of ice. Okay? And we should be able to conclude that from this information. Well, water temperature goes down from 30 to 12, that's 18 Celsius degrees. Uh, 250 grams of water therefore gives up 1,000 joules for each Celsius degree. Uh, it gives up 1,000 joules for each Celsius degree. Therefore, water loses 18,000 joules of energy. Okay, so uh, that's very easy to conclude. The numbers are simple enough. Uh, you know, four times 250 is a thousand. You should understand that pretty easily. It follows that the ice gains 18,000 joules because the water lost 18,000 joules. Now we're assuming this is in a system where there's no uh, contamination from outside. There, none of the uh, no heat energy enters or leaves the water ice system. And of course, that never is completely true, something we do our best to control for. Okay? But in any, any case, if the ice gains 18,000 joules, the 18,000 joules that the water lost, that comes out to 360 joules per gram of ice, as you can easily calculate by dividing the 18,000 joules by 50 grams. Okay? Uh, now, that energy doesn't all go to melting the ice. Because the ice melts, then it goes up by 12 Celsius degrees. Well, you can figure out uh, 50 grams goes up 12 Celsius degrees. Uh, each gram is going to gain 48 uh, joules of energy in going up 12 Celsius degrees. Uh, if each gram gains 360 joules of energy from the uh, cooling water, and 48 of those grams go into heating up the water, then the difference, which would be 312 joules uh, per gram, is what it takes to melt the ice. Now, the actual value of that constant is um, 4.186 roughly times 80 uh, joules per gram, and that comes out around 330 joules per gram. So if this was an experiment, we'd have pretty good results here. We'd be off by less than 10%.